Cheesecake Games level with Alana? Mason? No, I'm, I'm Mason. Yeah. You got it wrong. Oh, okay. Alana. This is the one thing you're supposed to get right. <laughs> Out of everything that we do, this one particular thing, we should have a lockdown. Okay, go ahead. Alright, so anyways. One more time. We'll, we'll allow you this mistake. Oh. Anyway, we're at Escape Coco Beach. Um, we just played Rocket Science. Right. Escape this time. And uh, minutes. I think it was something like that. It was pretty quick. We were, no, no, 54 minutes was the other one. I think 52. It, like 52. You know, whatever. It was it was really fast. They actually came in and they had they they did all that stuff. What what are the things you did? I want to say shreds. I know that's not uh, the stuff that you throw confetti. That that stuff. <laughs> they confetti and then beautiful women kiss me on the cheek and I go no no an autographs please. That's what happened. You remember oh, that part? No. Yeah. Where I've been. Uh, okay. I was the one solving all the puzzles, so. <laughs> so but nonetheless. <laughs> creepy. So we did rocket science. So overall, what did you think of the set? I love it because um, that is my favorite place in Coco Beach. So I really like this place and the room is awesome. Yeah. I have just one defect, but I can say why. Go but you already knew that. We had to cut out there because she actually, in a Tourette-filled rage, said all the secrets to every clue <laughs> in the room. And actually gave the person who assassinated JFK. Just threw that right in there at the end. So we had to stop the video we're going to start over again real quick. As far as where we were, so setting. My my take on the setting was um, Escape Coco Beach has a very minimalistic approach to the rooms. Um, it's very, very, uh, very clean. Uh, it's very well lit. Uh, it's overall just very minimal. And they, uh, that continues in a rocket science. Um, I thought overall it felt like a rocket science room, but at the same time, I, I when I think of rockets, or when I, or I think of scientists, I think of clutter, craziness all over the place, you know, paper strewn and all that. And there are some things that you just can't do, because if you did paper strewn with mathematical symbols, or symbols, people's head would actually explode. So we can't do that in an escape room. But nonetheless, it did convey the point. I felt pretty good about the it. The well. atmosphere is good. Yeah. This decoration really put you in atmosphere to mm -hmm. understand. To well. solve some puzzles. <laughs> so, but um, what do you think of the actual puzzles? Like, how did it, how did it flow for you? It's really good. Yeah? Yeah. It was like really understandable. What was your favorite puzzle? Which, that? Which uh, my... I was tricking you because <laughs> you, you were going to go for it. You're like, yeah. well, the one where we pulled the cat out of the wall and then spit up a key. You know that. Okay. That's. But. Um, you know, I can leave you here and tag with me, Mason. No, it's and, not the new Mason. But you didn't. Listen. This is Mason. <laughs> all right. But. <laughs> so, as far as, as me, um, uh -huh. my. my, uh, my opinions on the puzzles. Uh, I played all four rooms here at Escape Coco Beach and I felt that this one flowed really, really well. Like it, I I believe that you should be, you shouldn't have 20 minute lulls before solving a puzzle. You want to have go, 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 and you want a long string of puzzles. That's what I like personally. That's my opinion in the statement. But I felt like we did have that flow. It was boom, 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 move. And they, None of them were crazy difficult, but I, none of them really felt like gimmies either. Um, you know, we did ask for two or three clues. Yeah. So we did, you know, we did have our problems, which is expected. Is this one again? Don't wait for ask the clue. Yeah, ask up front. Like, don't don't it's wait just... till the end to ask for the clues. But uh, but overall, I, I really like the puzzle flow. Fantastically well, actually. That's that was my big like. It's just we walked out of there, and we felt good about it. it was yeah, fun. I know because. That is your cat, that's cool. That's right. It's cool. It's so good, everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the it last... was the hat made the clue solving aerodynamic. Yeah. Mm. Right. I hear you. So, as far as that goes, uh, overall fun factor, what did you think? Yeah, it's alright. It's all right. It's Give it the high marks of it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I like it to the another room better. That's it. Another room. Okay. What we played. Okay, yeah. See, I, I, I definitely liked 
Out of all of them here, I, I would put Black Dahlia up front, and then I would I know, put Rocket Science. I know, I don't Science. play the I game. know you haven't played, but I'm just saying, I put Rocket, Rocket Science round number two, so two? that's just me personally. Yeah. Okay. But I, but I'd almost like to, because when I played Black Dahlia, I played alone, so I'd like to experience it with a group, but nonetheless, I really like Rocket Science. It felt good. I, I felt really good when I walked out, and that's how I walk up here. Yeah, this like that. hat. It was the hat. It was the flow. But, uh, but anyway, Escape Go Go Beach. The staff were very, very cool. Um, uh, you know, we were actually pretty good friends with the Escape Go Go Beach staff. They're very cool. They, uh, they let us come in and enjoy some games, and we suggest that you should go pay them a visit. Mason alone out. Thug signs, thug signs.